somebody says he wants to advertise a church meeting then he gets an obviously strange comedian <laughs> what's your name what's your name my dear my name is dora sir dora i like your aura <laughs> you, you are 10x level too ah sir i'm an added follower of this level wonderful i i pray i pray not for my daughter Yes. Welcome back to Kingdom of the TV channel. In this video, we're going to be showing you a lot of videos that we just find out of recent. We um, pastor or opposed to Arimi Ozai talk against, or yes, talk against the video that is, was done by Mr. Macaroni, though he never mentioned any name, but everybody knows when you know minister is talking about someone so he's talking about a program a program advertised by a a commander that promotes lost let me just read like that because that's just that's just the content of that comedy it usually promote loss sexual appetite and a lot of stuff like that so um apostle was are trying to you know correct this stuff or so it's in this a motive of the preacher who invite or advertise his program through a commander who is not godly who is not you know a well standard in the body of christ and a lot of stuff like that and now uh, after apostle Arim, as i said this i think if you watch that video in the beginning there's a reply from um, um mr macaroni that was very bad at calling apostle Arim, as I, a strange preacher so let's just see what i'll read it out right now what uh, um mr macaroni said about apostle aromeo zai so right now yeah you will see he said uh, mr macaroni replied rather i just saw a very strange video from a strange pastor who preaching who's preaching in the said video was built on half truth okay he said the preaching on the video was built on half truth that means truth is today so i know what you are pregnant with sir lies and disease he talking to apostle arimans i i use my content to teach inform and educate society and this content he's talking about is all this content that promotes laws it's not good for the body of christ and if you watch most of the video of reverend kesian apostle arimans i he said you should run as a christian who wants to grow you should run for fleshly loss and if you look at mr Ma i've been into his content for long watching so but i'm not watching any comedy right now until maybe there's something i need to go into to check so now he said it's full of lies i use my content to teach and educate society so some see it some don't the only bible that you preach with tell tell us all types of story in different stories it's okay if you don't see that my content are an in imitation of life and every content teach it his own lesson in its own way what i want to have is you reducing my brand which i have built on the core value of theater to be limited perversion of your strange mind i know what i do with my content and millions of people do too it's okay if you don't understand it or can't relate it to it with it but please don't use my name or brand to give mischievous illustration it is strange for a man of god to be deceitful to better so this is what uh, mr macaroni really reply um really reply um apostle as i call him a strange preacher you know harassing him and saying a lot of things though we didn't see any reaction from apostle as I, because there's a video i watched of apostle as i wish said is not he, he cannot reply to any fight he only makes to comment and correct the body of christ sorry to say our uh, boy never mean to reply to he will never reply to any any fight that come from anybody because the person leaving him name did not tell him to re the reply if he replies and uh, you know there's a lot of argument he said he will have problem with the person living inside of him which is jesus so that's just it but Apostle Arimeo did not reply, but we saw a reply from um, a body of Christ who, you know, asked Mr. Macaroni a question, which you're going to be watching now. So let's just look at it. Is he your friend? No, 
know, sir, oh, uncle, I just met him. And, sir, you know that prayer that I have been talking about that I need five million naira? He just sent me five million oh, naira. Sir. Wow, five million. Wow. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. God bless well, you, sir. You must be such a generous man. Sir, what, what, it's yes. amazing. God uses us and it helps her. Yes, yes, sir. Wow. Uh, actually, you know, uh, when I saw her, the spirits were just pushing me. Hmm. Push me. He said, go and take the sister to the next level. Hmm. Wow. So that's why I came. I wanted to take her to the next level. Yeah. Okay, they will really see that video. I just let me play that video before bringing up what uh, Spirit Coco Twitter, you know, replied him. So you see that the content of the video is that a sugar daddy sent you a money which is source of blessing. That means anybody can go into any business and when you receive the money you call it a blessing you come to church and they'll you know you give you thanksgiving you bless god if you should that means you can go and go for and uh, 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 go of yourself or uh, engage yourself in a situation where you have a, 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 a what's it called sugar daddy or sugar mommy or where you get your source of income from just you know for the purpose of what you want to do and you call it god blessing god blessings yes you can you can engulf yourself in yahoo and you say it's god blessings i pray that the lord will help us in jesus name so um, what's Ricoco twitter reply mr macaroni is hello mr at mr macaroni we come across this post of yours and it is rather shocking that a thing of it this way will be said of a minister whom you know nothing about this preacher that you refer to as a stranger full of lies and deceit is supposed to remember Zai? But before we talk about it, we would love you to respond to the grant you gave that gave you the perceived right to call him those names. You said your skit followed the standard territory practices and they teach moral tenets that are beneficial to society. So this is a tweet that the Sprinkle Court Twitter, you know, dropped and uh, it was so, you know, serious that um, Mr. McConnell gave a reply to insulting them and telling them a lot of thoughts and everybody that engulfed themselves in the situation so i would love to also share that with you the reply of uh, mr macaroni let's watch so here is the reply of mr macaroni he said i sincerely apologize but he no go better for all of you now mr macaroni slams christian twitter users offended by his post calling out a clergyman you know this man as a christian all of us claim a christian but no not all of us are born again you see the reply of this man and it's very annoying he said another reply he said i usually i usually do not address the issue this way so i sincerely apologize to my follower please so his follower are more better than the body of christ but you know go better for all of us now so he preacher can call a comedian strange but a comedian can't return the favor is that a favor i don't really know i said you know go better so he was just trying to if you check all this through this content you will you see that he was just trying to you know cause uh everybody that trying to intervene and you know favor opposed to Aaron Mosiah and a lot of stuff like that <clears throat> and that's why christian body must arise there are some contents we cannot go into there are some things we should be careful of who we give ourselves to imagine some christian following this type of present content for long now and you want your spiritual life to be stable there will not be stability in your spiritual life that's why every christian must be careful of what we feed ourselves with it with rather what we engulf ourselves with what we engage and engage ourselves with daily i don't really go into comedy i don't watch comedy a lot of stuff like that but um this is an example to the body of christ this is an example to know if you want to watch comedy try and check out try and you know know what's up and what's going on in the industry i pray that the lord will help us in jesus name oh uh, let's listen to the videos once again and uh, you know i pray that the lord will teach us his ways in jesus name amen so my question today is what happens when the gate of hell prevails now the reason for my own little charge is to attempt to reveal to us what the congregation of satan looks like because society is always a mirror image of the church and i'm not saying that politically i'm saying that from scripture in the book of ezekiel chapter 11 there was catastrophe in the city and they wanted to investigate the source of the ca catastrophe so god came and took the prophet by the locks of his head and took him in the spirit 
was thinking that he will bring him to the legislation chamber. Now that's where the origin of evil is better into society. I thought it would take him to Asorok, where the seat of political power was. Surprisingly, he took the prophet to the temple. But the source of what was bedeviling the city and the society had its roots in the house of God. It was then that the prophet discovered that the God that was worshipping that temple was not Jehovah. It was actually the sun God and the practice of divination was captured in the secret chambers of that house. That was what powered everything that took place in that location. So society is a mirror image of the church. So if we see that we have reached the peak of what Pa Elton des described as the fullness of the deliverables of corruption if we have reached that point as a nation that nothing can be worse than what we have now nothing can be. i don't even know why i will stand in a polling unit i need additional revelation motivation to say i'm going to vote because democracy is dead it died some time ago and it was buried recently I just hope you are not you are not you are not serious with this your laughter. I hope. I hope the laughter is just on your mouth. I hope it didn't come from inside. Because we should be crying, we should be mourning. So we have a situation that is reflective, that is descriptive of the fact that the one in charge of our nation is not God. And the God that is in charge of our nation is reckless. He's not Jehovah, but the type, the one in charge is. And we are at his mercy currently. Somebody says he wants to advertise a church meeting. Then he gets an obviously strange comedian whose uh, philosophy about life is built on advertising lust in brilliant ways. Then you are advertising a church meeting and because it's about marketing, it's about the numbers, it's about the likes, it's about the online community that can be reached so a church meeting can be advertised on a platform that's been built as an altar of lust so when you see the principles that can be employed you will know what you are pregnant with whether it is god that impregnated you or whether something else is responsible because the problem that the sons of God had was that they violated their estate of separation. And separation is one of the principles that is in Genesis chapter 1. It's foundational. We shouldn't talk about unity when we have not spoken about separation. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> welcome back i know you really watched the whole video right now so what's your opinion concerning what Pastor Mozaik said about in this content what's your opinion mr macaroni pastor bolaji and a lot of stuff like that please do it to comment share the video via subscribe to our channel we are kingdom of the tv channel we love you